I think you might be getting pentatonics wrong. It's not only about it being easy to play, not only convenience. It is as much about a great powerful sound that you want to use like that in your playing. If you listen to great players like John Coltrane, Joe Henderson or Chris Potter, they're using it because it's a sound that they can use in their playing. They're not using it because it's easy to play. In this video I'm going to go over seven ways that you can use pentatonic scales in jazz over different chords and I'm going to talk about what scales to use, but also the great sounds and some of the great lines that you can make using this. I'm going to start just really basic, simple, and then move on to some of the really far out ones. Ironically, some of the far out ones sound weird already, so they're easier to play. My name is Jens Larsen, learn jazz, make music. So first I'm just going to start with a really basic example and also talk a little bit about what makes something sound pentatonic and how you use that. Then I'm gonna move on to some great examples for major seven chords and then finally start moving into some more weirder pentatonic scales and some altered dominance. The most basic example is probably to use A minor pentatonic on an A minor seven chord in a 2-5-1 in G major. And that sounds maybe a little bit obvious and a little bit boring, but actually that's not entirely true because it's not about the notes, it's about what you do with them. It's about the melodies, it's not about the notes. It's never about the notes. It's never about the notes. Let me show you what I mean. Here I'm using A minor pentatonic on the A minor 7 and the line is just using the basic box 1 pentatonic. But it does have that pentatonic sound that I'm talking about and that's because I'm playing a scale pattern in the pentatonic scale that just really brings out that sound. And that's something you definitely want to work with. If you want to use pentatonic scales then check out some of the different patterns that you can play in the scale. Those are the melodies you need to use. In this case I'm using this pattern. If you compare this to a more normal jazz line, then a line like that would have chromaticism and arpeggios, and that could sound like this. So if we have these two next to each other, you can see one has the pentatonic pattern, and really that is a different sound when you have the... this kind of open pentatonic sound compared to sort of the more closed bebop sound with chromatic enclosures and arpeggios with some extensions. So the way you make melodies with pentatonic scales is you study different interesting patterns and I will include some of those in the examples that I'm gonna cover here. The funny thing is that when you start using some of the really more advanced or exotic pentatonic scales that you probably don't already play, because the scales already sound funny then you can play easier and simpler patterns and still get it to work. Let's get to some of my favorites when it comes to major seven chords. This is pretty much my favorite sound. I use this all the time. So if you have a major seven chord, you can use a minor pentatonic scale from the third of that chord. So in this case, in the key of G, uh, the third of the G major seven is a B. And uh, the minor pentatonic scale we have there would be B, D, E, F sharp and A. And if I relate those to, to the G major chord, then I have the third, the fifth, the sixth or the thirteenth, then the major seven and the ninth. So I really just have sort of a really good core set of sounds on top of that and everything fits, it's really easy to play with. In this example then the pattern that I'm using on the G major 7 is kind of easy to see in sort of a visual way if you're playing your pentatonic scales as two notes per string, which most of the time we do. Uh, so in that case it becomes this. The next pentatonic scale that's a really solid choice for major seven chords is to use the one from the seventh of the chord and that's giving us a Lydian sound. You can think about it as using it from the seventh or a half step below the root. Of course that's kind of the same thing. Uh, so in this case on a G major seven that means that we're using F sharp minor pentatonic. That would be F sharp, A, B, C sharp and E. And if I compare those to a G major seven chord then that gives me a major seven a ninth, a third, then we get the sharp 11, so a really Lydian sound, and then a six or a 13. The pattern that I'm using here on the G major seven is really making use of the fact that it's also pretty easy 
to move a pattern through a string set on in the pentatonic scale. So I'm starting with this, which is of course just sort of the top part of this position, and then just moving that down to the next position, completely the same pattern, and down here. So I really emphasize that sharp 11 also. And of course, you can play that pattern along the entire neck that would sound like this. There's also a minor pentonic scale that works really well for altered dominance. Since we're in the key of G, let's just look at a D7 altered. So D7 altered is the same as E flat melodic minor, and that would be D, E flat, F, F sharp, A flat, B flat, C, and D. We have one pentatonic scale in there, uh, at least one minor pentatonic scale, and that would be the F minor pentatonic, so F, A flat, B flat, C, E flat and F. Against the D7, that's sharp 9, flat 5, flat 13, flat 7, and flat 9. And it's a little bit tricky that we don't have a third, so when you start using this, because we don't have an F sharp, it can sound a little bit vague, but in most contexts you can actually still get away with it and get it to work. The pattern that I'm using here on the D7, and actually I'm also using on the A minor 7, I'm just switching from one scale to the next one, is a really simple pentatonic pattern or scale pattern that's similar to playing a scale in thirds. The minor 6 pentatonic is a great choice of scale if you want to improvise over dominance or if you want to improvise over a tonic minor chord. It's also really simple to construct. If you have an A minor pentatonic scale, then that's this. So if I take all the 7s, so all the Gs, and change those into major 6, so F sharp, then I have this scale. And this scale sounds really great on a D7. You should also try it out on a blues. I have another video where I'm talking a little bit about that. In a 251, it sounds like this. So as you can tell here, I'm going a little bit away from using patterns because of course the patterns are nice, but you don't only want to rely on that. You also just want to be able to play some melodies with that note set. Now we can start getting into some of the more funny or weird pentatonic scales that you can create. And the first one I want to talk about here is one that works extremely well on a D7 altered. And the best way to think about this, so the scale is called B flat major flat six. And probably the easiest way to think about it is of course B flat major pentatonic is the same as G minor. So that means if you start with this pentatonic scale, and then what I'm doing is that I'm taking all the Gs and turning those into F sharps. So then I get this scale. The notes that I have would then be B flat, C, D, F, and F sharp. I'm calling it F sharp because I want to use it on a D7. Of course, if you were to think about it as a B flat major flat six, then you would call this a G flat, but we need it for the D7, so that's why I'm calling that an F sharp. And against a D7, then we have a flat 13, flat seven, the root, the sharp nine, and the third. So we really have sort of a complete picture of an altered dominant with a flat 13 and a sharp 9. And I think this is a great example of how you can actually play some really basic patterns. What I'm playing here is just this position, but then in sets of two strings. So I'm first just playing this and then moving up a string set and playing before I resolve back to the G major 7. And this same scale works really great if you want to have a Lydian augmented or a G major 7 sharp 5 sharp 11 sound. So that's a B major flat 6 pentatonic scale. And of course that would be B, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, and G. So against the G major 7, then we have 3rd, sharp 11, sharp 5, major 7, and then the root. The way I'm using the pentatonic scale in this example is, again, just a really basic pattern. It's also pretty visual, that would be this one. 
I think you can get really a lot from checking out some different patterns and some different options for what pentatonic scales you can use on different chords. And if you want to see some more examples that uh, work really well on a blues, then check out this video where I'm going over nine different examples on a 12-bar blues.